Good day, this is day two. I think looking at a book entitled The Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn, a Messianic Rabbi, will help us get a better grasp on what has happened and will happen in the coming days leading up to Jesus' return. I think it will open up our minds so we can more clearly understand these days. The blurb on the back of the book says, as you open up the Book of Mysteries, you will be transported on a journey through a desert to encounter a man known only as the teacher, who will take you on an odyssey to mountaintops, caverns, encampments of tent dwellers, and oil-lit chambers of scrolls, ancient books, and mysterious vessels. Partake in the voyage and unlock the treasure chest to uncover the mysteries of the ages, with things never before revealed, the most important keys of spiritual truth, end-time revelation, and the secrets of overcoming. It can even change your life. Today, I will again, I will be reading it from the Book of Mysteries for Day 211, the Ninth of Av Mystery. Judea Judaism 101 describes this day of as a fast day, commemorating the destruction of the first and second temples, as well as other tragedies. What is this? I asked, or rather, what was it? It was a great house, said the teacher, a great house of ancient times. We walked through the wreckage, stones, broken pillars, and fragments of ancient pottery. He sat down in the midst of the ruins. I joined him. He took out a scroll and began to read. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. Zion spreads out her wing hands, but no one comforts her. From the Book of, Revel of Lamentations. The Jewish people read it every year to commemorate the destruction of Jerusalem in 586 BC as the armies of Babylon raised the temple to the ground on the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Av. Centuries later, Messiah foretold that Jerusalem would be destroyed again and the people of Israel taken captive into the nations. His prophecy would come true in AD 70 when the temple of Jerusalem was destroyed by the armies of Rome and the Jewish people again exiled from the land. And it all happened on the same day the ninth of Av. Less than a century later came another calamity as the armies of Rome crushed the Bar Kokhba uprising, killing over a hundred thousand Jewish people, a calamity that culminated with the destruction of the city of Athar on the ninth of Av. In the Middle Ages, the Crusades would wipe away thousands of Jewish people. The Crusades began on August the 15th, 1096, the ninth of Av. In 1290, the Jews were expelled from England. The calamity began with the signing of the decree of expulsion on July 18th, the 9th of Av. In 1492, the Jews were expelled from Spain with a final deadline of August the 2nd, the 9th of Av. This ancient mystery was manifested again and again from the fall of Jerusalem in 586 BC to the final solution of Nazi Germany. Wasn't all this foretold as far back as the law at Mount Sinai, I asked? It was, said the teacher, and what does it reveal? God is real, I said. His word is true, and we must pay it close attention. Yes, he said, and Messiah not only, were, not only warned that this would happen, but wept because of it, as a shepherd weeps for a scattered flock. But his fears will cease when they return to their shepherd. Excuse me, I should repeat that, but his tears will cease when they return to their shepherd and the ninth of all mystery comes to its end. Our mission today, Messiah wept for his people, share of his heart and pray for the Jewish people for their redemption and the return to their shepherd. And let us pray. I just decide, let, let us pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your love for the Jewish people. And we, your word says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for they shall prosper that lo love it. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for helping us learn more about you. In Jesus' name. And also, I'd like us to check out our... The scriptures are so long, I suggest that you check them out for yourself. 
Lamentations 1, verses 1 and 17. Ezekiel 11, verse 17. Luke 19, verses 42 to 44. And Luke 21, verse 24. Till tomorrow, continue in God's blessings.